Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Eric Connert. And I'm Nettie Irampour. And this morning we do have team coverage on this storm. News 8's Evan Narani standing by. He's tracking the latest weather conditions. Let you know where it's coming down right now. But let's begin with News 8's Chris Grow joining us live from El Cajon where that wet weather caused a crash. Chris, we're also learning some schools are closing today. What's going on there? Look, a lot to get into here out in the East County. Here in El Cajon, we saw quite a bit of rain, but no accidents, at least right around here near Main Street and Magnolia. But in Santee, just off the 52 westbound, we saw a pretty bad crash. In fact, let's show you some of that video that we have of that. Uh, essentially, what we're being told is that this crash happened after a semi truck had a blowout, lost control on that bridge there over the San Diego River, again on the 52 westbound. During that blowout, he hit a red SUV or a red SUV kind of hit the semi truck, which had one driver inside. A driver lost control and flipped over the side of the bridge, landing about 50 to 60 feet below, according to first responders. Now, thankfully, three witnesses actually got out of their cars. They saw all that commotion and they went down uh, to the where the car had flipped over to help her out of the vehicle and get her to safety. We're told she was taken to hospital with injuries. Uh, she is being treated and looks like she's going to be OK. Semi truck driver made it out OK too. was actually released on the scene. The Good Samaritans uh, we were able to speak with them that jumped down to help that woman knew that she they, they needed to act quickly once they saw that SUV on its side. We went in there, just talked to her, let her know it was okay. Water wasn't rising. She was going to be fine. We're going to get to her. And somebody threw down a bar, thankfully, because we couldn't hit the window with a rock. And I got climbed on top of the, the, the car and got to live a dream of smashing a window. But this time it was for a good thing. Pretty incredible stuff there to hear them describe that. And look, with that winter storm that we're also seeing today, some snow that's happening in the back country out in the mountains, and that's having an impact as well, too, not just the rain. We're seeing Julian Union Elementary School District, Mount Empire Unified School District, and Warner Unified School District not having a true snow day, but going ahead and going to distance learning because of the impact that the snow and the rain and just all of this nasty weather is having. Now, Julian Union High School District, they're going to have a more traditional snow day which of course means no school for them today, both in person and any type of distance learning. But for more on that snow, on the rain, what we can be expecting as we move forward in the week, we're going to turn now to Evan Arani in studio with a look at our first forecast. Evan. Good morning, Chris. That's right. Boy, it has been a wet start to the day, and we're continuing to see showers pick up across the county, but there also are some breaks in the wet weather that are mixed in. This is the view that we have from Mount Woodson facing west. As you can see, some pretty thick storm clouds in the distance there. Still a little bit of blue sky out there, and many of our viewers have even written in to say they've seen the sun peak out. Here's the thing. Don't trust it too much because by the time we get to the afternoon, plenty more showers are on the way and this is what we're talking about in terms of that marathon versus a sprint, right? This is going to be the slow and steady mix of rain showers and clouds and a little bit of the sun peeking out at times and plenty of wind too in the mix. So here's the satellite radar view where you can see showers are sporadic and just intermittent all the way through the uh, morning hours going into the next couple hours. We are expecting those showers to pick up across the coast and uh, especially Especially going into late tonight and early tomorrow morning. We could even see some thunderstorm activity take place. Winter storm warning is in effect until 10 p.m. for your mountains. Everywhere highlighted on the screen here above about 3,500 feet can expect several inches of additional snow. We're expecting a total of two feet possible up at Palomar Mountain. And then as you look off toward Mount Laguna, we could see about a foot and a half. Now, here's what we've seen so far as your rain totals go. Uh, this again is just for your Wednesday morning rain so far. Nearly half an inch for Oceanside, about three tenths of an inch for Chula Vista. Point Loma recorded a quarter of an inch along with Encinitas and Mission Beach at just over two tenths of an inch. These are very preliminary because we've got a lot more to go from here today, tomorrow, even Friday. The wet weather sticks around and so does the wind. You can see the gusts right now in the double digits and they're going to stay that way. No wind advisory in effect right now, but we'll keep you updated on what we see in just a bit. We'll talk about how much more rain is to come and how much snow we could see toward the mountaintops and what happens as we head toward the weekend. A little bit of a calming trend with those temperatures warming up and skies clearing up as we head toward your Saturday and Sunday. So details to come, guys.